Hi guys, I'm Rita and I'm Digital Accountant. In today's episode, I will share my honest and unbiased or any other way influence review of accounting software Zoho Books. If you haven't seen it yet, I have shared a link in the description section below to my complete Zoho Books tutorial where I am presenting my event planning business. So go down to the description section, click on link and enjoy. So in today's review, I have selected a mix of good points and not so good points that you might be or should be considering if you decide to start using the whole books accounting software for your business. So let's start with my review. Pricing. The good news is that Zoho Books provides with a free package. So you do not need to pay a penny to actually manage your business operations from Zoho Books accounting software. But the bad point, if I may say so, there is some restrictions. And restrictions are that you cannot issue more than 1000 invoices per year and you have a revenue threshold of £35,000 per year. That would mean that you can issue up to 83 invoices per month and make 2900 plus minus in sales per month. So if you go above one of these restrictions or maybe both restrictions, and also you would like to have a features like um, record supplier invoices and credits, um, enable automated bank feeds, manage sales orders and purchase orders, budgeting, time tracking, stock management, and etc., then you will need to actually go for a paid package. If you go or select a paid package, you're presented with two subscription uh, plans, I would say. One plan is that you can pay for your paid package for whole year, uh, all like in one go, or you can opt for month to month subscription. I should note, the second option is 20% more expensive. Also, if you opt for an annual subscription, so that means that you pay for whole year in one go, for first 12 months, you will get a whooping 50% off. Multi-user access. I really like Zoho Books approach regarding multi-user access. You can purchase those separately. Instead of forcing you to upgrade to next paid package, which is always expensive compared to package what you were on, in this case, you can purchase user accesses separately. So, for example, if you are on your standard package, which costs 12 pounds per month, on if you have taken on annual subscription, that will provide you with free user access. But you need one additional user, so you need four user access. Then you would need to, in normal circumstances, upgrade to next paid package, which in this case, on Zoho Books, would be a professional package. But that would cost you £24 per month if you select an uh, annual subscription. And that is a double the price what you are currently on. And that would allow you five user access. Plus features which you might not want to use or you will never use. So, Zoho Books have provided solutions that you can purchase user access separately to your current package. So, in this case, if I'm on standard package, I can buy an annual user subscription uh, for, for one additional user a sub, uh, based on subscription price of £24 per year. That would be average two pounds per month. But if you are on subscription plan month to month, you would need to pay two pounds fifty per you one user per month. That would mean about fifty pence more if you have selected monthly subscription plan. 
The downside is that if you are on free plan, this feature or this add-on doesn't work on free plan. So on free plan or free package, you have one user and one accountant access. Auto uploads or auto scans. So if you have lots of receipts like I have in my hands, there is an easier way on Zoho Books to upload those. Kind of didn't work, but okay. So you can actually purchase separately add-on called document auto scan. In that case, system will scan your uploaded document and you will be able to either record as an expense because system would make life easier reading information from receipt. The so same will apply for invoice and any other documents what you require for any other uh, sections on Zoho Books. So, this is not for free and the cheapest package is for 50 scans and it, it is £8 per month if you are on month to month subscription plan or £78 if you decide to pay in one go for a whole year. This feature, document auto scan, is not included in any of paid packages, so you need to purchase it separately. The good news is, if you are on a free plan, you can purchase this separately as well. So, the way how you can purchase, go to your settings section and through settings section, go to operate plan and then you will be able to click on add on and add this uh, feature. If you are going through document section, you, you will be directed to Zoho store as well and it will be the same place where you can add your uh, document auto scan. There is unlimited quantities what you can scan per month if you select your appropriate package. So the more auto scans you want to do per month, the more expensive package you will need to select. Mobile app. It is good news to business owners who like to record their transactions on a go because Zoho Books has an amazing well-designed, user-friendly, easy to navigate mobile app. You can issue invoices, send estimates, reconcile bank, view business, um, I would say how well business is operating, looking through report section, as well as to access settings where you can add a new currency, you can um, change your VAT settings if you become registered, and much much more so basically you can do your business operations from your mobile phone without actually a need to have a laptop or browser option unless you need to access chartered accounts or post a manual journal zoho apps zoho books which is all about accounting software bookkeeping and etc is actually a small piece out of the whole puzzle. Zoho is a complete business solution and you can integrate other Zoho apps to your business needs and operations. So if you want HR to manage your people and staff and etc, you can actually integrate uh, to your business Zoho People app. Also, if you have customer service and they're using um, customer uh, like ticketing system, then you can integrate Zoho Desk and app. If you want to manage and keep a track on prospects, potential deals, and also once they're closed, you want to uh, pass information to, let's say, finance department, then you can enable uh, or integrate Zoho CRM app. And there is much more apps that you can use to make your life easier. For example, manage projects, manage warehouse operations, manage even team communication uh, so they can efficiently communicate between departments by using Zoho Click, for example. And Zoho Sales IQ for live chat options. There's so many different 
like apps that you can actually bolt onto your main business as and when required. So as and when you grow as a business and you need, as I said, ticketing service so you can integrate Zoho Desk. Uh, if you have uh, your teams are growing, then you maybe need HR, uh, human resources solution, so you can enable Zoho people and etc. So as I said, Zoho is much more than just a finance uh, software. Zoho Books is a part of whole Zoho uh, group of apps available for you to run your business operations smoothly. Expenses versus supplier invoices. If you are on free or lowest paid packages on Zoho Books accounting software, then you will be not able to manage payables. By this I mean that you will be not able to download list of supplier invoices and see which invoices are due for a payment now and which invoices will be due for a payment in the future. On those two packages, you will need to enter supplier invoice as an expense. And in that case, it means that you will need to allocate a bank account or even cash account as you would have paid for this supplier invoice already. I came up with my solution. I created a new code called supplier invoices on, through my chart of accounts and I allocated to section banking. So once I added supplier invoice through expenses, I allocated to this particular code called supplier invoice. Once this invoice has been paid, either I could record a journal entry or I open this transaction amended date and also um, changed a correct payment method that I used even if I paid through one bank account or maybe if I paid in a cash. Depends from your uh, where you have paid this invoice from. The way how I could keep a track which invoice supplier invoices have been added and paid was that if I actually went to balance sheet report and went to that line supplier invoices, you would see a number in blue in blue color. Click on that number and system will give you breakdown of all invoices being allocated under this particular code. This was the way or approach how I decided to manage my payables or my supplier invoices. You can choose to keep a separate track of uh, Zoho books, for example, keeping all supplier invoices on um, spreadsheet in that case you would need to make sure that um, you have available that spreadsheet when you want to pay this supplier and then add on system otherwise you can use my approach but you need to make sure that you keep in control of uh, when you decide to pursue with my solution so guys i hope you found my zoho books review useful but if you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, so you don't forget, I share the link in the description section below to my complete Zoho Books Accounting Software tutorial, where I am running business as an event planner. Did I make a profit? Check it out to find out. Thank you for watching and I will see you next episode.